Hey, what's going on, Guardians? My name is The Black Link. And yesterday, July 19th, 2022, we had a quick update. And then, of course, the Destiny 2 Summer Event Solstice finally went live. Well, that is after one, two, three, four extensions to a rather long bit of maintenance that ensure that your boy didn't get a chance to even touch the game until well into the night. But as of now, I've had a chance to dive into Solstice, farm up a set of the new armor, and take part in the new activity Bonfire Bash in the EAZ. Now, if you haven't had a chance to play Solstice yet, here's essentially how the event breaks down. When you start the game up, head over to the tower where you can speak to Ava Levante. She's going to gift you an entire set of event armor. And of course, this event armor is very special. You'll be able to upgrade it as you participate in the event, and ultimately, you'll be able to re-roll the stats on it and every bit of new gear of this particular armor that you'll get in the future. Once you've spoken to Ava Levante, she's going to send you on a short quest to kind of get you worked into Solstice 2022. The way this essentially is going to work is as long as you've got at least one piece of that armor equipped, you can go out into the world, complete activities, and almost virtually anything. You can go run strikes, play Crucible, complete public events. Just about any activity in the game is going to reward you with Silver Leaves. Once you've collected enough silver leaves, you can run the Bonfire Bash activity in the European Aerial Zone. The node for this will be located in the tower itself. And upon completing it, you turn those silver leaves into silver ash, which you can then use to unlock specific upgrades on the Solstice Armor. Now, additionally, something else that's new with Solstice 2022 is the event card. This is going to be the way special events in Destiny work from here on out. This event card is going to have its own challenges tied therein, and completing these challenges will grant you a new form of currency called Kindling. This is the other new key currency that you'll need to upgrade your armor. Getting access to the event card is relatively simple. You'll get it just by talking to Ava Levante in the tower and going through her short quest. And once you finish the initial step of obtaining it, you'll be able to see all of the challenges tied therein. Now, there's also an upgraded event card track that you can purchase for a thousand silver. It's about 10 bucks. And purchasing it will allow you to utilize event tickets, which you'll also be earning by completing these event card challenges. Event tickets allow you to purchase additional cosmetics that are tied to that specific silver upgrade pack. It's important to note you absolutely do not have to buy that silver track. You're really only getting a few cosmetic items for doing so. The big reward for Solstice this year is, of course, the high stat armor that you can reroll. And that is, of course, tied to the free version of the event. Now, in addition to the event card, there's also two brand new seals that have been added to the game. One specifically for Solstice 2022, and one titled Reveler, which is going to be tied to the completion of events all throughout the year. If you'd like to get access to these two free new titles, you'll need to participate in events like Guardian Games, Festival of the Lost, Solstice of Heroes, and of course, The Dawning over the course of a year. And you'll also be able to guild some of these titles in the future. But anyways, the overall rundown for this event is to go out, complete activities, and gather up silver leaves. You can carry about a hundred at a time. And while you don't need to be wearing a full set, you do need to have at least one piece of the candescent armor equipped in order to earn silver leaves. Although the more pieces of that armor set that you have currently equipped when you complete activities, the better your chances at getting more silver leaves from the activity. But you get those leaves once you've farmed up enough, you can head into the Bonfire Bash activity in the EAZ and start stoking the flames of the bonfire. This activity is pretty simple. When you've loaded in, specific enemies are going to spawn. They'll be marked. When you take them out, they'll drop an interactable igniter item. You pick that up, you throw it into the bonfire in the middle, and you'll progress the activity forward. The more times you do this over the course of Bonfire Bash, the more of your personal silver leaves will be consumed in the end and turned into silver ash. So you're definitely encouraged to be an active participant in the activity. Once you've done this a few times, some Taken Blights will spawn across the battlefield. You go and take those out as well as the Taken that accompany them, and then you'll be back to throwing igniters into the bonfire. Do it until the timer runs out and a final boss will spawn. Once you defeat that boss, congratulations, head back to the bonfire and you will receive your rewards which of course can include legendary drops as well as your bundle of silver ash. And once you've farmed up enough silver ash, you can use it on your condescent armor 
to ignite both glowing and shining embers as well as to re-roll the stats on your gear. Now, kindling, which of course you'll earn by completing event challenges for Solstice 2022, are used in order to access these armor upgrades. So get yourself some kindling to unlock these features on your armor and then use silver ash to upgrade them. Now, of course, when it comes to Solstice armor, glows are the talk of the town, and that's certainly a factor this year as well. In order to activate a glow on the Candescent armor, you'll need to have farmed up at least six pieces of kindling in order to fully max out that Candescent armor. Once you do, the glow for that particular armor piece will be unlocked for it and all future drops of that bit of armor. But alright, there's your overview for Solstice 2022. That's what you're going to be doing, that's what you're going to be farming. Now, let's talk a little bit more about optimized farming methods for some of the particular currencies you're going to be going after and you're going to want to get as quickly as possible. Of course, we're talking about Silver Leaves. Again, these drop from general activity completions. This includes ritual activities, stuff like the Nightfall, Grandmasters, public events, and Witch Queen story missions and it drops in varying amounts from all of those. Now, this is gonna be broken down into whether or not you have a friend to play with or if you're someone running solo. Generally speaking, if you're a solo player, the fastest way for you to farm up a lot of these silver leaves is likely going to be heading back to the EDZ and running yourself some heroic public events. Completing public events will get you three to four silver leaves per completion and take virtually no time at all. And when you're in the EDZ, you can really bounce between areas or double dip on specific zones by completing a public event and then reloading into that same zone. Sometimes you'll get another instance where that public event is still active to constantly farm up some silver leaves. It's a pretty good way all around. As I said before, public events will get you about three to four silver leaves unless you're wearing a full set of condescent armor. Then I've seen the drops go as high as five, which is pretty good considering public events are very, very quick and easy to defeat, making this a very efficient farm for the solo player. Now, if you happen to have either a second account available to you or what's known as a friend, there is an even more efficient farm for you that some of you have probably already even heard about. Head over to the Witch Queen story mission. This is going to be free to absolutely everyone, and even better if you've already completed the Witch Queen campaign. The second story mission, the investigation, is a phenomenal farm for virtually any kind of currency that's tied to activity completions. So get a running buddy and start up the investigation. This is the mission where you basically have to capture a plate to open a gate, and once you do, you'll move through and take down a light bearer hive. Towards the end of this mission is where the farm begins. Once you've made your way to the end of the mission where you're supposed to be meeting Finch, have one of the members of your fire team swap characters. This will preserve this checkpoint on their initial character and then they can rejoin you. Head over to the inn to meet Finch and complete the mission. You'll get a total of 15 silver leaves for doing so. And then you can just have the person who swapped characters restart this mission on their original character. They'll be right here at this checkpoint. Then you can rejoin them, have them swap again while you go and complete the mission again for another 15 silver leaves. This is by far the best method currently known to get silver leaves in the game. As once you've got it set up, you can basically do it in perpetuity and then save that checkpoint again for later. Now remember, you can only hold a maximum of 100 silver leaves. So once you've done this a time or two, Make sure you head back to the European aerial zone so that you can turn those silver leaves into silver ash. But this is going to make re-rolling your armor really, really quick and easy. The only downside again is, of course, that you do need to have somebody else who's willing to play with you in order to do the checkpoint swap. But as long as you two are alternating turns being the checkpoint mule, you should both be able to max out your silver leaves in no time. And of course, maxing out those silver leaves will afford you the chance to max out your silver ash in the European Aerial Zone's Bonfire Bash activity, and get you more chances to re-roll for higher stats of the Candescent Armor. But alright Guardians, there you go, that's your quick overview of Solstice 2022, as well as a few tips for efficient farming therein. Hopefully they helped. How are you guys feeling about Solstice this time around? For me, personally, I'm really excited about the notion of being able to re-roll armor. I am going to be diving into that over the course of the week. But be sure to let me know how you feel down in the comment section below.
If you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest stuff we're putting out. I'm out for now. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, I am the Black Link. You guardians, stay frosty.